Hello guys, in this video, we'll learn how to install PyCharm on Windows 11. To do this, we'll first install Python, then we'll install PyCharm. After that, we'll configure the connection between Python and PyCharm. Finally, we'll run a sample Python program in PyCharm. So let's begin with the first step, installing the latest Python version. First, open your web browser. In Google, type Python and press enter. The official website will appear as python.org. Click on it. Here's the official website. Hover your mouse cursor over the downloads menu and the current version will be visible. Click on it and the download will begin. We've successfully downloaded the .exe file Right click on it and select open to start the installation. The setup has started. First, check use admin privileges and also check add Python to path. Click customize installation. This will install pip. Pip is used to download, install and manage Python packages and libraries. It will also install IDLE. It is an integrated development environment for running Python programs. Keep the rest as default and click Next. Now select Install Python for all users. Keep the rest as default and Python will be installed in the following location. Click Install. Installation has started. Let's wait. Setup is complete. Click Close. Now let's verify the installation. Go to Windows Start menu and type CMD and open the command prompt. Here type the command Python hyphen hyphen then version and press enter. If you see the version number displayed, that means we've successfully installed Python. Great! We've successfully installed the current Python version. Now let's install PyCharm. Open your web browser. In Google, type PyCharm and press enter. The official website you're looking for is by JetBrains. They're the team behind PyCharm. Click on the official link. Once you're on the site, go ahead and click the download button. You'll see two versions available. One is the professional edition, which is paid, and the other is the community edition, which is completely free and open source, perfect for most developers. Since we're on Windows, scroll down and click the download button under the community edition. This will start downloading the installer file. Once the download completes, right click the file and select open to begin the installation process. The setup wizard will launch, click next. PyCharm will install to the default directory, which is C drive, and it only needs around 2.2 gigabytes of space. Click next again. Here, you'll see a few optional settings. I recommend selecting create desktop icon shortcut. Leave the rest as they are and click next, then click install. The installation will begin. Sit back for a moment. Once it's done, you'll notice a shortcut on your desktop. Finally, click finish to complete the installation. And just like that, PyCharm is successfully installed. Now let's launch PyCharm. Double click the PyCharm shortcut on your desktop. Once it opens, click on Customize. From here, you can choose your preferred theme. I'll go with the light theme, but you can switch to dark mode if you like. You also have the option to change the IDE font according to your need and language. I'll leave the language as default, which is English. Next, head over to the Projects tab and click on New Project. We're now going to connect Python with PyCharm. First, give your project a name. I'll name mine Python Project without space. Below interpreter setting, PyCharm automatically detects the Python version we installed earlier. Once everything is set, click create to start building the project. PyCharm will now initialize the environment for your project in the selected directory. 
After the setup is complete, your PyCharm window will open, displaying your new project. Now let's write our first Python program. Close the Welcome tab, then right-click on the project directory. Select New, Python File, and name it First Program. Press Enter, and it will automatically create a Python file named firstprogram.py. Let's write a program to print Hello World. After writing the code, save the file, then right-click anywhere in the editor and select Run. You should see the output printed at the bottom. And that's it for this tutorial. You've now successfully installed PyCharm, linked it with Python, and run your first Python program. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you get started with coding on Windows 11. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or face any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.